you guys do not have any evidence that God exists. So why do you still believe that this narcissistic, egotistical does exist? It makes no sense to me personally. Hey friend, I want to answer your question, but I really think there's more going on underneath the surface. It sounds to me like there's a lot of bitterness and anger in your heart against a God that you don't think exists. This isn't uncommon. I hear atheists all the time go on and on about their lack of a belief in God, and yet they're trying to convince us that he's some kind of moral monster. But think about it. The fact that you have a conscience, a clear sense of right and wrong that you're even appealing to in your accusations against God, it means that you're not actually living consistently with your own worldview. Let me explain. You see, from an atheistic evolutionary worldview, we are all simply stardust bumping into stardust. We are evolved animals, and so we can observe in how organisms organisms are, but we can't say how organisms should live. You can't draw any absolute morality from that worldview. But here's the thing, friend, you don't live that way. You know there is right and wrong. In the Bible, it says that God has given us a conscience and he has written his law on our hearts. Not only that, but that we know he exists, but we simply suppress that truth in our unrighteousness, in our sin. God has revealed himself to us so evidently in creation. Just step outside your room and you can see his handiwork at play. At the end of the day, I don't think I'm going to convince you to believe in God simply by having the perfect argument. I believe it's God who transforms our hearts and opens our eyes to see him. He is the one that can pull off the blinders of sin to see him clearly. I'm praying that you encounter Christ's transforming work in your life today. Follow for more.